So continuing on the series, we're going now into final interviews. Final interviews are done with business owners, executives, hiring managers, the person who's going to decide, yes, this is the person for me, send them an offer. Um, that is a very important part of the process. Um, and what's important is that the actual hiring manager needs to respect what his team or her team has done for you already. This person's been pre-screened. Then this person showed up to a first round interview where they went through their qualifications and there was an element of personality as well. So you have to trust an element of that team. So now in that interview, there's got to be an 80-20 split, 20% being experience now and 80% being about personality because you have to trust your team has gone through the experience element of it. But it's always nice being that last touch point of saying, you know, what, I'm going to triple check it. Very, very small part of the interview of the experience element. Now, this interview is going to be more of like an hour long rather than 15 minutes. This could be the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes of tell me more on your background and let them talk a little bit more on their actual experience. And if you are someone who's an expert in a certain field that's more than your team, go show them the equipment or the software or whatever it may be that you're looking for, the expertise. Indulge on that and dive into it a little bit more. But then from there, you're done. Because once you dive in and in your mind, you check off, yes, this person has the experience. Now it's, do I want to work with this person? That to me is the most important element of it. And that is the personality. Do I want to work with this human being? Again, we're not here to just get someone a job for a couple weeks or three months. Like We want to try to find long-term people here. So with that said, a nice walkthrough of a facility is very important. Um, offering coffee and making it comfortable to just walk and talk. Maybe jumping into a car and showing them the property, the facility, depending on the size of the business, right? Um, maybe it's walking them through the offices and introducing them to the other staff and giving them the chance to actually talk to other people while they're there. And so many times I have someone coming into my office that I'm interviewing and what I'll do is I'll put them with my operations manager. I'll say, come and see me in five minutes. Like just talk, get to know each other, ask questions. Making them comfortable and making other people get a chance to meet them is very important because personality is what really wins it all. And then from there is really highlighting your standards. Very important, highlighting standards. And with standards, it's defining to that person this is the standard we have in that in our company, and this is why we would be hiring you to come in. You almost want to be telling them that we are going to hire you, but I want to be crystal clear with you as to why you're coming here, what role you're going to play. A lot of companies, they don't do that. They, they don't just straight up say this is exactly why you would be coming here, really highlighting the problems, opening up the book a little bit and saying this is an issue we're having in our business. This is why you'd be come be hired and we're expecting you to solve it and really talk about that problem. This is a good chance for you as the final round hiring manager. Um, it's a good chance for you to see their problem solving skills. If you show them an, an existing problem that is in your business that they would be working on, um, it'll be, it's kind of like a free trial for you to just see how they would solve these real problems. Don't give them the situational made up, issues and problems. Give them a real one that actually exists in your business. So with that said, I'm going to hone in and summarize all this. Again, 80-20 rule, 20% on experience, 80% all personality and good conversation. Very, very important. Get the experience out of the way, then from there, make them super comfortable. Show them around the facility. Have them introduce, be introduced to some people. And then biggest point, final point, is show them a real problem that they would literally start working on the, on their first day of work. Show them a real issue in your business that they're going to be responsible for and, and ask them, you know, how would you solve this? Give me your opinion on it. This is why you're coming is to fix these types of problems and getting them to talk about their trade and how there'll be a solution for you rather than trying to sell you on anything that isn't even important. So with that said, you've got a full series. We went through pre-screening, went through first round interviews and now final round interviews. Um, I really hope you enjoy it all. And I want you to go through and reference these previous interviews and in, in the, uh, the pre-screening as well, because you're going to really find them effective for your business when you start using these small tools that will make a biggest difference to increase, most importantly, is retention, hiring the right people and having the right people start from day one. Hey, thanks for watching our content. Listen, if you're running a business and you're struggling to find staff, 
I want to introduce myself. My name is Christian Saab. I own CPG Recruitment, and I help companies across North America find the people that they need to find. Listen, a great business cannot be built unless you've got great people. You and I both understand that having the right people on your team is so important. And that's where I could come in and help you. So listen, I want you to shoot me a text message. Here's my direct cell phone. Have my number. Reach out to me. I'd love to hear your story and get to know what you're trying to accomplish. And that way, maybe I can help you fix this problem.